Today, we're going to talk about the nutritional values and components of an egg. We're going to start on the egg structure. So you can see we have the different parts of an egg. It starts with uh, the shell, the outer membrane, and the inner membrane, the albumen, calaisa, the air cell, the vitellin membrane, lastly the yolk. These are the parts of an egg. Later, I'm going to tell you the different parts and their functions. Eggshell has a various crucial roles and is a structurally important part of birds' reproductive biology. It represents both a physical and chemical shield that protects the internal content of the egg and is mostly composed of calcium carbonate. These roles play a variety of important part in the development of the avian embryo. Its primary function is to provide protection. The eggshell's hard structure serves as a strong defense against external pollutants and mechanical harm. It serves as the initial line of defense, preventing damage to the delicate yolk and egg white, guarding against microbial invasion. Two essential tasks for the safety of food and the reproductive success of birds. The eggshell is essential for maintaining egg structural integrity. In addition to its protective functions, if the egg didn't have the support that the eggshell offers, it could collapse or deform, endangering the viability of its content. Despite appearing impenetrable, the egg is not completely impervious. Gas exchange is facilitated by the surface mic microscopic pores. These pores allow carbon dioxide to leave, while also allowing oxygen to pass through, which is necessary for embryonic respiration. The metabolic requirements of the developing embryo depend on this two-way gas exchange. The outer shell membrane of an egg is a pair of membranes that lie be just beneath the eggshell. There are two main membranes, the inner shell membrane and the outer shell membrane. The inner shell membrane is the membrane that is in direct contact with the egg white or albumen. It adheres to the eggshell surface and provides an additional layer of protection to the egg's content. It is semi-permeable, allowing for the exchange of gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide between the inside of the egg and the external environment. While the outer shell membrane is located just beneath the inner shell membrane, it is even closer to the actual eggshell. It acts as a secondary barrier to provide further protection to the egg's interior. It is also semi-permeable and works in conjunction with the inner shell membrane. Together, these membranes help protect the egg's contents from contamination by microorganisms and help regulate the exchange of gases. When you peel a hard-boiled egg, you often see the inner shell membrane adhering to the egg white, making it easier to remove the shell. The calaisa is a structure that can be discovered inside an egg, more especially in the albumen or egg white. On either end of the yolk, close to the pointy and blunt ends of the egg, are two helical rope-like formations. The calaisa hold the yolk firmly in the place in the middle of the egg. These spiral structures support the yolk within the egg white. This anchoring maintains the yolk stability and prevents it from migrating, ensuring that the nutrients are distributed uniformly throughout the yolk or the embryo. In in case of a fertilized egg, calaisa provide a protective role by aiding in the cushioning and defense of the yolk against physical shocks and injury. They assist in preserving the yolk's structural integrity and lower the danger of damage during handling or transit. Calaisa can also be used as freshness indicator to determine how old an egg is. The calaisa are noticeable and purely refined in a real fresh egg. They are sturdy and won't break easily. The calaisa may degrade or lose prominence as an egg ages. So, so, the existence and state of the calaisa can reveal certain details regarding the freshness of the egg. It's crucial to remember that the calaisa are safe to eat and are not a sign that an egg has been fertilized. They are merely structural elements of the egg created to carry out the aforementioned task whether or not the egg is fertilized. The thick albumin and the thin albumin are the two primary components of the egg white, generally known as the albumin. Its components each have unique properties and roles in the egg. The thin albumen is the liquid or watery portion of the egg white that envelops the yolk and the thick albumen. Compared to the thick albumen, it contains a comparatively low amount of protein. The majority of the egg white is made up of the thin albumen, which is situated nearer to the eggshell. It is sometimes referred to as the caliciferous layer because it covers the calaisa, which are the structures that resemble ropes and hold the yolk in place. While the thick albumen, as it named, implies is the denser and stickier portion of the egg white. It is situated nearer the yolk and has a high level of 
protein, especially albumin. The thick albumin serves as a cushion and structural support for the yolk, defending it from damage. The developing embryo in the in a fertilized egg receives crucial nutrients and protective functions from the thick and thin albumin combined. Distinct egg white components may react differently when cooked when used in culinary application. For instance, the thin albumin remains more liquid after cooking, while the thick albumin sets up more firmly. When creating recipes that contain egg texture and cooking characteristics must be taken into account. The vitellin membrane often referred to as the vitellin envelope, specialized tissue that encircles the yolk. It is a crucial part of the egg and performs a number of significant roles. The vitellin membrane serves as a barrier to guard against physical harm and microbiological contamination around the yolk. Given that the yolk carries vital nutrients for the developing fetus, this shielding is very crucial. The vitellin membrane aids in retaining the yolk shape and integrity, preventing it from collapsing or becoming malformed. It also enables the interchange of gases between the developing and embryo and the outside environment such as oxygen and carbon dioxide. The breathing of the embryo depends on this exchange. Another is it helps to stop the yolk from losing water because the developing embryo could suffer from dehydration. The membrane serves as a barrier to hold on to moisture. The vitellin membrane in certain animals has tiny thread-like structures that serve to bind the developing embryo to the yolk. This makes sure that the embryo stays in close touch with the yolk and can get the nutrients it needs to grow and develop. The developing embryo is supported and protected by the vitellin membrane, which also helps to produce an environment that is favorable for growth and survival until hatching. The germinal disc is also called the blastodisc. It is a biocomponent of the embryo's early growth. The main function of germinal disc is fertilization takes place in this part of the egg. It includes the female's genetic material, including the ovium's nucleus. The process of fertilization begins when a male sperm enters an egg at the germinal disc using the genetic material of both parents. After fertilization, the germinal disc goes through a process called cleavage, which results in a sequence of cell divisions that give rise to the embryonic cells. These initial divisions cause the blastoderm, which eventually give rise to the embryo to form. The yolk surface will be where the embryo grows and develops. The germinal disc is also where the growing embryo receives its initial supply of nutrients. The developing embryo absorbs the vital nutrients found in the yolk, including proteins, lipids, and other energy sources. And the egg yolk, which is the yellow central portion of the egg, has a number of critical jobs to do, chief among them feeding and sustaining the growing embryo. The nutritionally dense egg yolk is essential for the growth of embryo inside the egg. The egg yolk is a repository of nutrients that are crucial for the embryo's growth and development. Proteins, lipids, vitamins, and minerals are some of these nutrients. The developing embryo may easily access energy and building materials from the yolk. Amino acids, which are found in the proteins and the egg yolk are essential for the growth and development of tissues, muscles, and organs of the embryo. Additionally, it offers the enzymes required for numerous metabolic activities. The developing embryo relies on the lipids in the yolk as a major source of energy. These fats are broken down to produce energy for the variety of cellular functions, such as cell growth and division. The egg yolk is rich source of vitamins and minerals including calcium, phosphorus, iron, vitamin D, vitamin E, and number of B vitamins. The development of the embryo's numerous body systems depend on these nutrients. The yolk aids in the preservation of moisture within the egg, providing a favorable environment for the growing embryo. The air cell is a tiny, empty packet that develops between the inner and outer membrane at the egg's blood end. It is one of the distinguishing characteristics of a fresh raw egg and serves a number of crucial roles. An egg's freshness can be determined by the air cell size and location. Eggs rapidly lose moisture as they get older thanks to their permeable shells. The air cell expands as a result of this moisture loss. Therefore, the older the egg, the larger the air cell. This is why it's frequently used as a standard for determining how fresh an egg is. The air cell is where respiration takes place as well. For its metabolic functions, the developing embryo, especially in bird eggs, needs oxygen. The embryo receives the essential oxygen by way of tiny pores in the egg shell where it enters and moves into the air cell. On the other hand, 
Carbon dioxide, metabolic byproduct, leaves the egg through the same pores. Despite its diminutive size, the air shell serves as a protective barrier between the egg's inside contents and the shell. By forming a little airspace around the developing embryo, this can help safeguard it from harm and infection. During incubation, the air cell might aid in orienting the egg. Developing in bird's egg, embryo has a tendency to situate itself close to the air cell, which can be important for the hatching process. The void in the air may offer a tiny chamber where the chick can arrange itself for hatching. Eggs are highly nutritious and provide a wide range of essential nutrients. The exact nutritional content of an egg can vary depending on factors like the size of the egg, the diet of the chicken. But here's an approximate nutritional breakdown for a large whole egg. It's about 50 grams. Calories, approximately 72 calories. Eggs are an excellent source of high quality protein containing about 6 grams of protein per egg. The protein in eggs contain all the essential amino acids needed by the human body. Eggs contain healthy fats with about 5 grams of total fat per egg. The majority of the fat is in the yolk. One large egg typically contains around 186 milligrams of cholesterol. However, more recent research has shown that dietary cholesterol has a relatively small impact blood cholesterol level for most people. Vitamin A, important for vision, skin health, and the immune system. Vitamin D, promotes bone health and overall well-being. The amount of vitamin D can vary depending on the chicken's diet and exposure to sunlight. Vitamin E, an antioxidant that helps protect cells from damage. Vitamin K, important for blood clotting and bone health. B vitamins, eggs are rich in B vitamins including B2, B5, B6, and B12. And also folate. These vitamins are important for energy, metabolism, and overall health. Minerals have iron, important for transporting oxygen in the blood. Phosphorus, essential for bone and and teeth health, selenium, an antioxidant mineral, zinc, important for immune function and wound healing, iodine, necessary for thyroid function, choline, eggs are one of the best dietary source of choline, which is important for brain health, liver function, and the formation of cell membranes, lutein, and zeaxanthin. These carotenoids are found in the yolk and are beneficial for eye health. They are they help protect against age related vascular degeneration and cataract. Eggs are nutritious and versatile food that can be part of a balanced diet. They are particularly valued for their high quality protein and the wide array of vitamins and minerals they offer. However, it is important to be mindful of your individual dietary needs, specific health concerns such as cholesterol level when including eggs in your diet.